We are now going to look closer into cell function within the collecting duct. The collecting duct is responsible for the fine tuning of sodium reabsorption. The movement of water and sodium from the lumen to the blood are under the regulation of vasopressin and aldosterone, which are released depending on whether the body needs to conserve water and sodium. We will now observe a normal functioning cell within the collecting duct with the enzyme 11 beta hsd 2 present within the cell. This will be followed by an example of an abnormal functioning cell where 11 beta hsd 2 is not functioning correctly. Here we see a cross section of a normal functioning cell within the collecting duct. Aldosterone stimulation increases sodium reabsorption in the collecting duct through its action at the mineral corticoid receptor, shown in red. When aldosterone, shown in red, binds to the mineral corticoid receptor, it initiates processes which cause the increased expression of proteins involved in sodium reabsorption. Such proteins include the sodium channel, shown in white, ENAC, and the sodium potassium pump, shown in orange. Since 90% of filtered sodium is reabsorbed in regions prior to the collecting duct, aldosterone's action in this region of the nephron is responsible for the fine-tuning sodium excretion. In the collecting duct, the enzyme is co-expressed with the mineral corticoid receptor. The enzyme converts the glucocorticoid cortisol, shown in purple, to cortisone, shown in purple. Cortisol has activity at the mineral corticoid receptor, cortisone does not. Therefore, 11 beta hsd 2 shown in light purple, protects the mineral corticoid receptor from overactivation from cortisol and allows the regulation of sodium reabsorption in the region. Here we see a cross section of an abnormal functioning cell within the collecting duct. In the clinical condition, the syndrome of apparent mineral corticoid excess. The enzyme 11 beta hsd 2 shown in purple, does not function properly. As a consequence, cortisol can act at the mineral corticoid receptor, shown in red, which causes overactivation of the receptor and the increased expression of channels responsible for sodium reabsorption. The net effect of increased sodium reabsorption is increased blood pressure. Therefore, patients suffering from this condition have high blood pressure.